Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Eureka Lover, but we gotta talk about going back to school. If Eureka is gonna remain a force to be reckoned with, as in wasteland transitions to nations and empires, we're gonna need guns. Heavy guns. Lots of heavy guns, but how? There are few ideas worth exploring, but they divided the cabal that runs Eureka. Granite pushes for ties with Walt City, or perhaps with some friends out east. The Burton Masters were willing to cut a deal with the NCR, offering assistance to the OSI in exchange for subsidies to Shady Sands, and the regulators, well, they've got an idea. The Shi were once masters of scientific innovation, with plans for spaceships, new fuel sources, and more, but instead, their leadership fell under this way of dueling dojos. While the research continues, the bright promise of the Shi is dimmed. Perhaps some of them would prefer to land where nobody's uh, kung fu fighting? Thank you, Shady Sands. That seems pretty good. And the becomes less suspicious. What's a Chicago? Oh, God, that's really good. Oh, San Francisco's getting a little chaotic. Ooh. Uh, I did say I want to go with the elites, but... I don't know. I like this. I like the actual research slot. That's very strong. That's here becoming less suspicious, though. <clears throat> Would probably be the best, but... Oh, it's a research slot. Love of God. My God, it's a research slot. Uh, but we're still here, and we are finally doing the mutant threat. And then we'll go to war with these guys up here. I mean, I, I, you know, I had to get the research slot. I had to. It would be irresponsible of me if I did not get that research slot. So we're getting ready to go to war with the, the Packers as we are just trying to beat the crap out of everyone up here because we can. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Land reform. Oh. Goodbye, land reform. Old world wall hold. That's nice. And we're going to do whatever we can up here in the meantime. The doctor's in, though. We've made a great contact with one of Enclave's oldest physicians, Dr. Henry. That's a great coup uh, for the Enc uh, Granite Company. Dr. Henry researched cybergenetics and forwards a departure proposal radical theory that the Wastelanders were not, in fact, a separated species, but still genetically human. Once to ride him, for assuming that the ability to interbreed a nigh-identical DNA and the sapiens, sapiens indicated that the mainlanders were genetically salvageable, he is now has a use. In exchange for working for a granite company, he will pardon him for escaping. While he may, be, he may quibble about being found by an extraction squad, he can do a lot of good for the people of Navarro. And if we're truly villains, would we provide medical care to the families of those who support us? Such selfless heroism, of course. Uh, you guys go here. Help beat him up. Why? Because we can. That's pretty much always the reason why. Because we can. Beat the living crap out of them. And then we're going to go to war ourselves down here. So they're still mobilizing. We'll see how long it takes for them to come kill us, but you know, whatever. Uh, I did convert these guys to this template, 16 combo with, with anti-tank and demo teams, which is decent. Mm, metal breakers? Yeah. Uh, go with at least 18 combo with. At least. So we're out of manpower now, which is not good. It is what it is. As soon as we go to war with these guys, hold the line. We'll do okay. And manpower, please. Thank you. What if you have them capitulate Arroyo? Packers, Arroyo, all the good stuff. And then we'll be taxing trade next. Which would be nice. Mm. Because these guys are definitely not going to be able to hold the line once we go down here. And honestly, we don't have enough divisions down here either. Huh. Not our deal. But not our problem. Uh, you know, I'll just go to war anyways. Screw it. And there you go. And then these guys are going to get jumped probably pretty easily. We're getting attacked like crazy. Which, honestly, I'm, I'm a little okay with. Can you do okay here? You want to help out here? I'm just waiting for the other divisions to show back up. So, yeah. Still mobilizing. Uh, Patrician. Not sure if it's all working the way it's supposed to, but you know it is what it is. And okay, so we gotta save a political power to go wasteland militia. Hey, there we go, finally, thank god. So you guys can do uh, this. And you all to do this and do that. I need you all to hold. Don't die just yet. Do this. Get Lieutenant Scott Blair. And what do we got here? Junk rounds, melee weapon. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. And recycler, max army size, reinforce rate. Yeah, reinforce a little faster. Once we get the Enclave power armor there, or at least power armor in general, we should be okay. Should be. Should be. But you never know. Come on, let's keep moving. Hmm. Primitive radio is nice. <clears throat> Mm 
Hey, Hendo Del Sol joined them. Coming home. San Francisco is a town of complicated feelings for many of us. The Starfather's children were expelled from the intolerant she while Grand Company believes a terrorist attack on the rig set sail from the ancient port. Perhaps the town to pay our old friends a visit. Now why not? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send you guys here. You guys are going to come here. You're going to help support the attack as well. I want to make an encirclement. That'll make everything easier for us if we just make an encirclement. Uh, I guess you can head up there too. Why not? Go over here. You. Two. Go here. And they are just destroying these guys, are they not? Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, sure, why not? And all I gotta do is do that, so you encircle a division. Fantastic. Kill him. Look at all the damage they wanted to do to us. But we didn't allow it, no sir. Uh, three divisions, let them spread out a little bit more, because we're gonna go up here next. And you guys go this way, thank you very much. Operation Security Compromise. Oh crap, Corporal. Fears the Rangers picked up our, on our activities, apparently. Some bloody mailmen walked into one of our conference rooms and found the commemorative Enclave coffee mugs. Even now, he's headed to Shady Sands to report an overt Enclave presence to Allgood Murphy. Dallas and Hope have a reward, and needless to say, the NCR should have noticed something is terribly wrong if we don't act now. Continue to operate as normal may have dark consequences. Time has come. What if we offer trading rights? Oh crap. No. This one's really bad for us. No. This is really bad. We're removed. <sighs> Once we go to war, then it'll be fine. I should realize that. My bad. More stability. Hide missions and whatnot. It's fine. God dang it. My bad. Which means they'll definitely be coming towards us soon. Alright, I'll let you guys here. I'll kill them all. Hey, everyone join in. Hey, Baja Bonanza. Huh. Ah, okay then. Baja joins the NCR. After concluding negotiations with the local cartels of the peninsula, Juarez of the Baz Pandits announced the formation of the Baja Republic, followed immediately by its entrance into the NCR as an autonomous state under his leadership. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. The product of a concerted diplomatic effort by President Allgood Murphy, the NCR has recently uh, invested a significant amount of resources into establishing trade routes into the region, laying the groundwork for an organized state. Those efforts appear to have borne fruit, as the NCR did not effectively gain control of the peninsula, and by extension, the Gulf of California, without firing so much as a single bullet. Although many NCR citizens are displeased by the ringleaders of Baja's cartels have found new positions in the nascent estate, the end of Baja's vanity nonetheless comes as a major relief to the peoples of Southern California. The NCR continues to grow, of course, the bear does. So all the bear does is eat and eat and eat. Terrible, I know. Coming home. Ultimate firepower. Ooh. Mm, we're gonna go this one next, though. So. Pilot training program. Good. Alright, good done. That's good, good, good. Because now I'm gonna send you guys here and here. There you go, that's pretty easy to beat the crap out of them like that. It's very nice. There you go, we got him. Wasn't really worried about him, I just want to make sure we do it nice and easily. Because now we can still go to war with the Sheep, with the San Francisco chapter. Are they allied with them? They're not. Interesting. Huh. What do you got here? So at this point, this guy's pretty good. Lucian Scott Blair, or Jack Shadow Churchill. I want you to be the paint, bring the paint train. It just seems like you should. So we're gonna get rid of everyone you have there. You two come over here, and all you come over there. There you go. So we'll do it. All right. So what do we got around here? Scavenger. Oh, probably. Oh, we'll try. Why not? Ah, so they took out these guys. That's fine. But what I expected. A royal of San Francisco. Uh, let them finish off Mac Sec first. Alright, so with us here, like this, what are we missing? No, we're not missing very much. Fighters, of course, but other than that. So, Eureka Warmongers, we got these guys, and they're decent. However, we're going to need chem companies, definitely, for our infantry, at the very least. Power armor. It's not bad. 
We'll keep him that way. I'm not going to touch him. Militia. That'll be good. So, let's save and see what happens. We have two air XP. Did you know that? Wow. Whole two. So, if we go to war with them, they immediately start attacking us. And we immediately start losing in some locations. Hmm. Let's see what happens. This could be one of the very bloody, extremely bloody wars that we do partake in. It's good. How about right there, too? What if you did that? And you do that. That we gotta use. Play to our strengths. You might be able to hold out there, maybe. Last word. Daisy Whitman is having to take up her old gig. Well, let's get into your general, I guess. I'd love to do an encirclement, but we can't quite do that. Let the power armor help out right there. Um, here, how about here? One division should be good enough to help out there. Uh, what else we got? Good. Not terrible. As long as we can hold up, hold them off, that's the most important thing to me. Guardian, Sons of Kaga. Because we have those guys right there. We're going to circle two more divisions right now. Anything here? No. What about over here? Ooh. Out of time, huh? We're using them now, so I'm about to do that. One division can take up both, which is good. God dang it, are you kidding me? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold. You're gonna hold. You're gonna go right there. And you're gonna kill them off immediately. That's what we wanted. That's all that we wanted, man. You go in here. Um, I need these two divisions to switch around. So you go here, you go here. Apocalypse. Yeah, like I said, we were vampire, so. Good. And they're attacking us because their divisions were all spread out and whatnot. Let's get down here. You need to go this way. Because I told you so. You go here, you go here, you hold. You help out. Nice. Scavenger General. Spare tires. Uh, bypass wires. If you know how our scavengers manage to repair centuries old motor vehicles, sure, sometimes. It's questionable whether they know themselves. Either way, we can instruct them. <coughs> Excuse me. To use clever tricks to produce vehicles quicker or create backup systems to produce more. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <sighs> I guess we can do a caravan hub. I guess this makes more money. Eureka can be so much more than a sleepy mercenary staging ground. With the recent developments, we can encourage the caravan companies to turn Eureka into a staging ground for expeditions north, turning to a model for our rule. Oh man, you go right here, you can make an encirclement, and that would be super nice. Just go right there, it's fine. Ah, they sent the Brotherhood sent their own power armor in. I see. Good, go in. Four divisions, that's a quite a few divisions, not gonna lie. Adobe housing, very nice. Extraction, yes. More organization for the heavies. It's fine, it's fine, we're doing fine. Don't worry about it too much. Too much, at least. Here, what's up out here? The faster we destroy them, the better. Good. Hit him from the south. Pumps. Number two. Good. This up. I need you over here. I need you two over here. There you go. You're going to help us lead into this group here. You here, here. I need your help right now getting in there. Just in time for us to raise our conscription level. 
Beautiful. Do you think the power armor is coming down a barrel on them? I love it. You get down here against circle two divisions now. You just hold out. Recover real fast. So get a caravan hub. It's good stuff. Red convoys. River convoys that we read last time. Oh, our capital is Navarro now. I didn't realize that. Look at this. We can route to Dock City. Vegas. Fantastic. Up by mixtures. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, down with that one anyways here. It's fine. Alright, so you're right there. That's good. We need you guys to switch around here. Give them a second. And... There you go. Good. Because we need you here, actually. If I could attack here to here, San Rafael, we could encircle one, two, five, six, seven divisions, potentially. If we move hard and fast enough, because you're going to go right there, actually. Hello? Please and thank you? Because I need you guys to go right here. I need you to hold out. Stonks, nice. Rats, darn it. How about right there? And they're not going to completely encircle us and defeat us here. Give us a second here. The goal was to encircle them, not get encircled, you bunch of idiots. Holy crap, this is stupid. Oh, god dang it. Oh, my... Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, I know, this is stupid. We set it up perfectly, and yet the game screwed it up for us. So I'm going to go back and make sure this doesn't happen to us, and we'll have them all nice and dead. Uh, but beyond Honduras, our warriors have heard tale of the raider-led anarchy present throughout Central America. Finding stable clans may not be possible in that jungle wasteland, but conducting raids of our own could yield serious benefits in the growing port. The port of Eureka has been seen a massive increase in the use over the past few years. Visitors now come and go regularly, not mentioning our mercenary expeditions that are launched from here. Expanding the port's facilities is the obvious next step. Slugs has convoys. Convoys are an important way for us to supply our mercenaries in the field, however. We occasionally find ourselves producing too many. Pawning them off to private buyers or other coastal tribes could be an easy way to raise money in a ship exporting scheme. Our last attempt to sell convoys turned out quite well. We can vote this time. To this idea, hopefully turning it into an easy way to continue continuously bringing in funding. Too close to home. The quiet evening was blasted awake by an indescribable explosion in our port in Eureka. The fishermen unloaded their boats after a long day of work were killed almost instantly. A ship of mercenaries returning home on leave and excited to see their families were suddenly returned to the battlefield they had escaped, with many suffering grievous or fatal wounds. The initial horror began to be replaced by despair and then rage, as responders found a sickly green murk spraying from nearby the site of the explosion. A clear sign that contaminants have been carefully included in the source of the explosion. This is no mistake or accident, this is an act of terror. Remember this. As we're trying to push hard into these enemies here, it remains of the expertise. Once uh, our responsive efforts turned from rescue to investigation, a number of disturbing facts became clear. First, there was no accident, of course. The port overseer had long been well aware of the Eureka port's importance to our city, um, and would never have allowed dangerous materials to be stored there. Second, the attack had been carefully planned. We were unable to find any solid leads or evidence left behind, meaning that the planners uh, or professionals. One of our neighbors must be responsible for this, as the contaminants were no doubt deliberately included to damage the port between. Our two greatest threats, the NCR and the Royal, there's one clear suspect. The NCR is far too preoccupied with the Mojave uh, to turn their attention to us, while the Royal is practically searching for an excuse to march our armies into our territory. They will pay. Oh, and they're still fighting Max Sec. Which is kind of strange to see, but whatever. The most important thing to do is destroy the divisions. God dang it, I hate the Shees so much. They can go burn. And they're going to burn. I need half you guys here. Like, honestly, at this point... We are wasting our time here so badly, it's not funny. Are you going to win the battle here or what? Okay, so at this point, you're going to abandon that post. I need you on this side very badly, and I need you guys over here too. So, because you're just, you're just wasting time. You're literally just wasting our time over here. You're going to help hold out. No, you're going to get encircled, you ding-dong. Oh my god. You rushed over here. At least this way, it'll be easier, hopefully, for us to take out San Francisco. Alright, you bunch of morons. Letting the AI do anything is always a giant mistake. Hello. There you go. You're gonna force it. 
as you should. Uh, airborne volunteers. Now that we have a rudimentary system of air power established, we can begin to release our planes to the clients along with the ground army. Good. Kill them all. Seriously, just kill every single last one of them. That's what they deserve. Literally nothing except death. Because my god, are they annoying. Son, where are you going? I'm here to beat the crap out of you. Come back, please. Come. Oh, no, 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 no. Dedicated equipment. Cool. Recover a little bit more and go in, anyways. Give him a second here. Can move in here. Santa Cruz, huh? It's fine. Go right here. Good. Beat him up. And yeah, if we take Antioch, would that be enough? Or are we going to get encircled? Probably get encircled. Nope. Oh, we got him. Thank God. Jesus Christ. That was, that was so stupid. It's really stupid sometimes, these wars. I left my heart in San Francisco, though. Oh, look at that. San Francisco is dear to many of the Yurkids continue. The Habologist wants to sit on the Golden Gate to watch the stars collide. Granite Company ships supplies to their apples across the sea, and the regulars passed through decades ago on the march north. Uh, a rich, prosperous city before the Xi gang tore it apart, of course. What should we do with the Steel Palace and the Emperor? The Granite Company would use the Emperor to serve their interests, calculating the secrets of their old friends on the West Coast. Hypologists would use them to search for a better way to cleanse the human, uh, humans of neurodynes. And the regulators, they would simply sell them to the Brotherhood and scrap them for parts. And suddenly, of course, NCR would be furious that we sacked one of their major trading partners. Perhaps they're mobilizing for war even now. Press Starfather. Ooh. But that's only research. Air technology. Words cannot express how stupid this is. Bribing our enemies. That's not bad. I wonder if we can connect to PasadoNet. Ooh. But that's still armor, power armor research speed. Operative slots? That's worth it. Mm, here, got some guns. How much money do we have? A decent amount. Um, we'll find a militias we'll need to eventually, too. Dr. Henry, that wouldn't be bad. But we lose war support, which I don't like. This here is very good. War support, recruitable population, monthly population. That's pretty good, too, over here. Outside of battalions would be nice as well. Help us assimilate refugees and whatnot. That's fine. Go ahead and do that one. More than seven. Oh, we need a lot of RXP for this, huh? This guy's the limit, huh? The last word. Ah. Ultimate firepower. There's nothing quite as emblematic as the Enclave's success as a plasma cannon. And at long last, the workshops in Navarro can turn out these weapons once again. Absolutely. Good. They got these guys done. Hey, look at that. Fantastic. Improved plane function functionality. Our scavenged planes stand a wild, uh, very wildly in quality. Assuring some basic standard between them will allow our pilots to switch between planes easier, therefore decreasing the time it takes to train new ones to run combat operations. Come on. Stop taking so long. We're out of manpower, but what else is new, you know? Port masters, goodbye. Metal breakers, 18 combos, which is okay. Special forces, which we're not using these ones. We're using the regulators, which are actually decent. Um, recon fire teams. For now, we'll put on the recon, why not? Walking tanks are good. The principal. Yeah. Of course, purity. Huh? Let's see where we end up. I like both sides. I really do. Resistance growth speed goes down by quite a bit. Damage garrisons go down too, though. Hmm. Corruption was rife in the old world, but we are different. Technology is dangerous. It destroyed the world once before. We can allow to do so again. Or purity. Radicalization of our forces into a Puritan belief system will enable us to utilize more brutal tactics without. Uh, risking insurrection. Hmm. Get more recon, special forces capacity multiplier. Get more soft attack for power armor support, though. Support. Is this buff infantry, too, here? Non discriminatory tracking. Uh, God dang it. Fine, we'll go with this one for now. Lose population factor, compliance with growth speed, but whatever. All right. They immediately start attacking us. Why would you leave one division there? How stupid are you? Come on. Come on now. It's time to start thinking. 
Where's their other special forces? Hello? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Why are you over there? That makes no sense. Help him out. <clears throat> Teach you a lesson, old man. There you go. We are here to encircle and destroy. And we lost a towel, but whatever. Where we're headed doesn't matter. Are we there yet? Come on. Where, where are you going? You know what? Let them leave. Can we head on in? There you go. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Let's do it. Ultimate firepower. Very nice. Ooh, plasma weaponry. No, I'll get this one next. Basic weaponry. Oh, we have to research it. Darn it. There you go. Nice. Yep, you might as well go in. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. No, 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 no. I clicked on one division to go in, and then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just struggling here tonight, aren't we? This morning, this day, whatever, whatever time you're watching this. Come on. It doesn't take too long for the power armor to beat the crap out of them. Oh, the NCR's up in the mouth. Ooh. Speaking of the NCR. Huh. They're concerned. Public projects, good. Let's see, more manpower? That'd be good too. Very nice. Well, they're still not going to win here. They, they have everyone against us here. Chimeran consensus, huh? Let's see. Max Planner. Oh my god. You're going to lead the assault. And you're not going to screw up. Come on, Lieutenant Scott Blair. Do better. Bases. The runways that we were able to restore from before the Great War were quickly becoming short on space. Building more power, building more should alleviate the issue, and the simple nature should just make it easier. It's literally just flat land. How hard is that? You'd be surprised how difficult it could be. How are we losing with power armor here? This literally makes no sense. Well, they're just going to keep attacking us until they're all dead. I guess that's the goal for this campaign now. Stupid, but it should work. Of course, it would help if we made divisions too, I guess. It would also help if we had manpower, but we can't do any of this yet. Come on. Come attack us more. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the ghouls. NCR loves attacking. I'm surprised they're not doing a general attack against us, though. So if that's the case, we're going to raise it up to well funded militias next. Huh. He's got. He's got. Just got to keep learning. Good. And sure, trading pilots. Our mercenaries may have a fearsome reputation abroad, but our pilots certainly do not. Uh, notorious for the mistakes and accidents, may believe that they have a higher friendly fire count than enemy kill count. It's obviously unacceptable. This next, but hills and mountains. Huh. Yeah. And a ravine, slightly more recovery rate, which is good. And we more political power. 1.32 is not bad, though, every day. Realistically, not too shabby. Let's create an intelligence agency. The Cabal. I'm going to go with that. A flower. Ah, good! That should reduce how many uh, enemies we're fighting here. So we have two divisions here. You should be able to do that. Crop rotation is nice. 
Sure, why not? Yet they decide to attack us more. Interesting. And huh. Radio is good. More decryption is good. Last shell, huh? Goodbye, last last shell. Ensure trained pilot. So that's all done on here. Something else we can do here to get more air XP. Uh, we're this one. So if you're this one again, please go ahead. Let's go with this one. So we get more research speed. Yes, please. Should be able to hold up here. We should be able to push here, but you know I was wrong before. So there you go. Follow Diana. Go to an apartment. Ooh, we're losing you. That's not good. You're not allowed to lose. Or encryption. Decryption is good though. We're gonna do that for some more quick manpower real quick. Beat the crap out of them. Come on. Come on, before they can continue just cycling more soldiers in. Just do better. Oh my god. The NCR is not at war enough with enough people yet. Go in port. At this point, you're gonna force the attack. I'm sick of I'm sick of this. Oh god, we're losing people here and there. This is a good defensive position we need. Thank God. My God. That took way too long. You're all going to hold here now. And how many have we lost? 700. That's a lot of guys. A lot of guys that we don't have. Uh, what else we got here? Stop attacking there, you ding dong. Get right here. A royal is looking a bit overpowered, not going to lie. Tons of manpower, unlimited manpower apparently, and these guys have way too much manpower. I should have killed them harder when we had the chance. Good enough for the future. Are you attacking here? Hmm. No, we can't do anything over here, which is whatever. You guys need to hurry up and get rid of all of that down there. And you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. You're gonna shift the line down. Good, any parts of stuff is also very good. And, oh, no, 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 no. Well, keep working on this, and we're going to read about joint force drilling. Our naval forces often act independently of our own land forces. This can often lead to serious problems and sometimes even disaster, as expected naval reinforcements will fail to arrive on time. Complex training drills should help alleviate this issue and prioritize army training. We must be certain that our naval officers act on behalf of our land forces rather than at their own volition. Prioritizing army training will do that, although it may leave many of our officers feeling neglected. Bears hug. Port Master Smith was met with a rather interesting proposition of uh, pro uh, promenade. Demand, really, when it was announced that the NCR Ranger Mossman had gone through a change of heart through all good. Many had speculated that the bear would become a kinder beast, but the NCR's immediate neighbors, much less Eureka, didn't expect the full extent of it. Not only did Mossman and Algood write individualized personal letters to all NCR neighbors, they considered their distant culture, or distinct culture, relationship with the NCR, and even what the states of their militaries, economies, and politics were. Although most of the Mossman legal jargon and heartfelt Algood uh, sentiment boiled down to we are guaranteeing your independence uh, from all foreign entities, the promise of NCR Ranger divisions trained under new good men doctrine, Algood's self-given name to the Mossman doctrine, was certainly a nice bonus to have. The hug of a 200 bear may be strong, but you can always nuzzle in its soft, cozy fur. Interesting. So we got NCR Expeditions. Well, that's nice. Thanks for the manpower and uh, resources. Uh, but we're, we're microing a whole bunch. I mean, that's basically all you can do here. It's micro, 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 micro with the Spec Ops Divisions, or uh, I guess Special Forces Divisions, against their own. So that's all we've been doing. Ooh, yes, more caps are good, because we need to do new systems care package. Ooh, good raise. Waste of intelligence budget, which would be pretty good as well. Um, we did the one with the military signing bonuses, as you can see, you can see, we'll do that one next, too. That's always good to do. Hello. 
Volto explosives, grenade rifles would be nice, but we're gonna go down here next. So, as long as we have enough divisions to help hold the line, because they, they can just continually attack us like crazy. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like we do have enough. Oh, but maybe we do. Yeah, once he gets, this division gets in there, I want to continue moving things around and I'm gonna finally start encircling them like crazy. And we are there, good. This war has la lasted way longer than I would have liked. Way, 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 way too long. Um, yeah, we're doing that stuff, good. Come down here, come down here. That'd be nice. Scroll down. Anything here? Nope, they're still concerned. They're just fine with us. We still want to kill them, probably. But we'll see. Alright, very good, very good, very good, very good. Let them waste themselves on our line. That's nice. You help out here, you help out here. Beat the living crap out of them. You're gonna force the attack, because I'm sick of this war already. And you can do that, too. Thank you very much, and boom. Good, good, good. So they have three divisions here. It's fantastic. And soon they're going to not have any divisions here at all. Good, and they're dying. Fantastic. Thank God. Jesus Christ. That is, this is lasting way too long. Even the frickin' free fighters are here, and they're completely, like, disorganized. So with that in mind, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, here to there. Circle two more divisions and kill them all that way. Uh, what else do we have? Water. Uh, how's trade looking? We're looking very good. Very strong on resources. Very, very strong. Um, anything over here? On the defender. War support. Stability. Well builder. Technocrat. Fashionate doctor. Alright. Like me, Papa. And we're just trying to stock up on a lot of critical power now. Too, so. Go here. And then go there. And you guys go right there. Yes. Attack. Nice. The industry, industry is just not big enough yet. Three count three is nice. Come over here. Guys are shawl, probably using some old stuff here. You go in here too. That's nice. Good. Help out. Good. 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 Help them out. Thank you very much. Help them out. Don't lose here too fast, but even if you do, it really doesn't matter at all because you can do that. And we're going to get to a royal the very long way around. Incredibly long way around. Oh my god, is this a long way around? Good. Second battle for Hoover Dam. Oh, so now you go to war with the NCR. Come on, god dang it. You couldn't do that earlier? Just take a royal. Go all the way to the sixes. Good. Get down here. And thank god, my god. I apologize for taking so long, but this pissed me off so much. It's not funny. Some of these words really suck. So finally, we've got them done. The last word. Rest easy, brave soldiers. After 30 years, we avenge your deaths. No, we must decide the fate of a royal's many enemy combatants. Yeah, murder them all. Because that's what they deserve. Can we go to war with four ways? I would like to go to war with four ways. But we have a giant border with the NCR. Scorched Earth is how we're going to leave them. And destroy them. A little bit too. That'd be nice. Good, and what should we get up here? Rocket launchers, Gatling guns, that'd be nice, good, good, good. They're still concerned, but do we care? No, not really. Uh, U14 will probably come down here. It's fine, we'll do that. You guys, uh, be fine, you guys go down there. You guys go over here. It's pretty much, I think, all the waterways we have with them. Sweet victory! Rejoice, Wastelanders, the Arsenos of oh, O'Royal is dead, no longer will. Uh, he sell your loved ones to the den slave pits, or jet, ship jet through Reno. No longer will he shoot rangers and drug dealers, but what do we do with the principality of pestilence? One option, through, although granite, like all good Americans, opposes slavery. 13th Amendment makes it clear that forced labor by criminals is legal. And leaving aside several decades of unpaid taxes, these monsters destroyed the rig. They killed the president. We would be justified to sell them into slavery and use the proceeds to rebuild America. But perhaps that is wrong. While the chosen one had to die for his crimes, Grant is not going to judge an entire people for how they treated him as a child. One cannot hug a child with nuclear arms, offering self-rule to uh, under the gentle, uh, under the granite cup of his protection, respecting the religious beliefs and showing clemency. Are these not American ideals? Perhaps, but America died with the rig, and now Granite can make sure that its murderers die too. Or Saber is just unprofitable. Ooh. Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Semper Fi, muties. Semper Fi. Too big to fail. Eureka success. I turned a little happy group into an army with a state, an unsteady solution. To do anything else, we're going to need a leader, but who? The fate of Eureka will be decided by whichever group is strongest. Oh. Interesting. Hey, at least we got the cores. 
That's nice. Thank God. Hey, economic resurgence is fantastic. And then what else do we have? Gliders, planes, yeah. That'd be pretty nice to do. Rock. Help settlements out. Build us up even more if we can. Interest circuitry is good. Build some radar down here too. So let's see what happens. The fall of the hang dogs and the only game in town. Open for business. We captured Max Zuck. We need to figure out what to do with the place. He used to turn a shiny cap after all. The problem you see is that everyone else in Eureka was crazy. The herbologists want to purify Nero Downs with more radiation. Granted, Chase goes to the dead world, and the regulators thought they could become friends with the NCR. Earn the trust of their ancient foes. All were fools. San Francisco had much of value, tech that the sheen the herbologists would have wasted. And the NCR meant the age of mercenaries uh, in California drew to a close, but how broad? Well, there would always be need of a gun. What? Why not see who else needed a hand? War never changes, but her price might. That's Fisk and Neotex, huh? Oh, became the port masters. That's interesting. Hmm. Open for business? Ports without M. We have a new victorious course, the Duchess of the Vice Royalty. If we want to access every market, we'll need a new staging grounds, and Port uh, Royale and the Vice Royalty will do. Oh, there's that. Let's focus on more current content. Remember the rig. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to do, too. Ports without end, though. We'll probably do that one next. Good. Good. Launchers a little ahead of time. Happy October, everybody. Basic training. Sure. War propaganda would be nice, too. Honestly, it's going to do it anyways. Um, two radar stations. Oh, cr what? Oh, come on. The game made me misclick. Ugh. Money makes the world go round. The justice system offers many opportunities for the financially motivated. Some fools commit crimes to make money. The wise, though, you know, make money by holding crooks. Enter Max Sec, which took convicts from across the wastes for a reasonable price. Produced from max sec and range from rare minerals to rewired circuitry, but largely fell under the general guise of crafted metal uh, components. These materials are then exported to various nations, turning max sec into a healthy profit. New management, however, proposes new uses for the prisoners. The poor masters prefer to stick with the tried and true. The hobologists have noted the empty sky up here in the mountains, offering a chance to gaze upon the heavens, turning this into a pilgrimage for the god. And granted, company well have got some ideas from an old pre-war place, Camp Turtle Dove. Business is business. Turning in his hands of pious acts against the favor of the stars. Execute order 990066 can only be improved upon. Ooh. That's a lot of money. But get some free compliance? Yeah. That's actually really nice. Capture the war, nice. Because if we go to war with these guys, they'll, they'll completely just demolish us, probably. But if they're losing to the uh, Legion, that'd be good, too. Supports without end. We need to go to war with New Victoria and the Port Masters, which means we need to fight north. Huh. But we gotta take out the NCR. Well, technically we don't have to take out the NCR. Can we go to war with everyone else? We can not have to go to war with the NCR, I guess, you know? We don't have to if we don't. Oh, do you want a crown? Oh. Under governance, the Port Masters have prospered. We built towns, roads, communities, and dreams. One of our advisors noticed today while walking through a royal that has become a beacon in the wasteland, but still it isn't perfect. Though flawed, the imperfections give character to this jewel under the nation's crown. Spectacular indeed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But we might end the episode there. New, new Klamath. Welcome to Old Klamath. Huh. That's cool. Um, just because that gives us one more episode to go through all the way through the north and take out New Victoria, as well as... Uh, oh, the last royalty? Oh, crap. That's really far south, so... We'll see what happens. Um, we might have to go to war with those guys, but we'll see in the next episode, I guess.
Because we're pretty much done with all the focuses that we can do. We can do a lot of them. So, hey, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Let's we'll see what else we can do to finish up this campaign with the Portsmouth. Port, port, with the Portmasters. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.